Good morning, everybody. Snow Cry Baby Rides here coming back at you from the beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, right now it is, shit, I think like 1030, maybe 1045. Um, it's in the hundred, so it's getting up there. Kind of warm today. All right. Uh, I want to say hello to all my uh, fellow subscribers or my followers or whatever you want to call yourselves. Um, welcome back. Um, always make sure to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get all this awesome content when it comes out. Unless you're already stalking my channel, then you'll get, you'll see it and you'll get it right away. But I wanted to come on here this morning and, uh, shout out all my Las Vegas drivers, man. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, and the other cities, of course, the other cities that are affected by this, um, if there has ever been a time for drivers to come together to stop this shit that Lyft and Uber is doing to you, the time is now. Because um, these rates that they have recently dropped this um, down to is just flat out ridiculous. You're not going to be able to take care of yourself, your family. Um, you're going to be out on these roads 80 hours a week just trying to barely make minimum wage, destroying your cars, and... Um, the only, the only thing with Vegas is, is unfortunately, Vegas is a, a city that's all about themselves, where people are all about themselves. So you're going to have your uh, minority of people that will, yeah, step up to the plate, do their thing, strike. You know, I don't even know if a strike would work because, like I said, you know, Vegas is all about themselves and what they can do for themselves. And, you know, at this point, you can't really blame them now because it's been allowed to go on for so long. These companies, in my opinion, should have been regulated years ago. And drivers and shit should have went up to the plate and take care of that years ago. Because this is where it has gotten to where they have taken advantage of it. Hey, taking advantage of you guys. And now it's to the point now where you're just, they're just doing it to do it. I, I swear they're just doing it to do it to um, get rid of you older drivers and get these new, you know, newbies that don't know any better. Um, even a new person, man, that's willing to drive for these rates is fucking retarded um i'm sorry if it hurts your feelings but then again i'm not sorry because um yeah if, if you can't even look at the numbers and um see for yourself that it would just be ridiculous to even start driving lift destroying your car at these numbers then yeah you're just fucking retarded um so um hopefully there is that my there there's gonna be that minority that yeah we'll step up to play maybe strike but i didn't see anything and these rates just went into effect this weekend. And I didn't see anything about anybody stepping up to the plate. Um, is there anything you're going to be able to do about it now? You're, you're going to have to just start, step up to some legislation action. You guys are going to have to go to where you need to go, City Hall. And you, you're just going to have to start, you know, barking. Barking loud um, to get these companies. Or go down to the lift hub and just bark and bark and bark. And make yourself known. Stand on the corner with the biggest science possible. Um, whatever the case may be, make sure you let your customers know how you're being screwed. Don't be afraid to tell your customer, Hey, yeah, they're fucking us big time while they're fucking you at the same time. Um, let it be known what these companies are doing. Um, you already see their stocks are taking a big giant fucking dump and they're going to continue to go down because these companies are ran by fucking clowns. Um, I, you know, I can't even say they're being ran by clowns. Um, they obviously uh, know what they're doing and they're taking advantage of the people that work for them. So somebody there has some idea what they're doing. Um, but for the most part, they're, they're a bunch of fuck clowns. Um, so, uh, my advice, I have a few ways that I could skirt the system. I, you know, I, like I said, I drove for a long time. I, I, I have ways that I would be able to skirt that system to make sure I made a little bit extra on top of these shitty ass rates. And they're, they're, you guys need to know this is a tourist city. You need to make it known, uh, with these tourists and set an example. Um, you know, you got that big old giant strip with people asking for rides you guys need to step up the airport you guys need to step up and like i said unfortunately people have to work to live and uh with these gig uh this these particular companies right now people have drained themselves so bad that they're stuck having to drive to just survive not like back three years ago when i first started where you could actually put money away and save money um and this is goes for any youtuber that's in a different city um that may not be affected by these rates yet um just I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't make too much fun of it because guess what? It's coming. Um, if they're doing it to these major cities they have now, they're going to do it to you. 
Um, and if I were you guys, I would get my city people involved. You know, nip that shit in the bud. Don't even let it, you know, the thought of that shit coming to you. Um, uh, get started, man. Get your people out there and do something about it. Start start barking, barking loud. Go to where you need to and bark and bark and bark. Um, right now, the AB5 thing, you know, you had a lot of people um, that were negative against it. Um, I'm, I'll tell you right now, it's starting to look a lot, a lot more positive. Because um, the, what these city they're taking advantage of you guys here in Vegas and the, these other cities, these you know rates are coming out to. So right now, um, the, the, that AB five is looking really good. So you know, uh, if you guys have to do try to do something similar here in Vegas, um, you know, have somebody write that shit up, um, get it started, um, because nothing's going to get any better from this point on. Um, so, you know, you might as well, hold on a second. You might as well take this and shove it as far up your butt as possible and fuck yourself with it because Lyft is fucking you with it right now. Um, just so you know. Um, so you guys need to do what you need to do to step up to the plate. Uh, like I said, the city's all about themselves, but damn, there's gotta be a common denominator where all you drivers can get together and say, fuck this and take care of business out here. Um, so I wish you guys all the best. Um, I hope, you know, you guys, you know, like I said, can get something figured out. Like I said, I, I have a few ideas how I would skirt the system. Um, just because I know, you know, I know certain things, um, you know, for driving as long as how I could make a little bit of extra doing this. But, yeah, um, you guys need to step up. Tourist city. Let these tourists know you're not playing this shit. Let Lyft know you're not playing this shit. Um, so... Um, like I said, I wish you guys the best of luck, not only here in Vegas, but these other cities. And like I said, you know, get your people involved in these cities that haven't come to yet. Uh, wake the fuck up and uh, start this shit now before it even gets close to you guys. Um, or, and even maybe if you have to, find a way to help out the people here in these other cities that's already affected. Um, so like I said, I wish you guys the best of luck. Much love from uh, No Cry Baby Roger coming back at you. Um, remember, you are the creator of your own destiny. And this destiny, if you continue on this track with this company, your destiny looks horrible. It looks horrible. Um, shit, you might as well be unemployed like myself right now because you, you, you're, that you're one step to being unemployed. And at the rate you're paying, you might as well work in McDonald's because you're going to be making more at McDonald's. All right? So, like I said, no crybaby out. Uh, no crybaby right here out. Um, love all my subscribers. Thanks for, you know, my new subscribers. Definitely like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. You ought to create your own destiny. Don't let nobody do it for you. All right, bye.